Hey guys, what's going on? It is Diskinker here, and I've got a really cool treat for you. I've been given a uh, replay by Blue Aura, and it has to be the best. Like this is, this is seriously the best Hero of the Storm game I have seen to date. I mean, it's a long game; it's drawn out, but it is action packed. There is so much happening on the map at any given time that it, it's just so good to watch. You guys have to check this out. So I wish it was a bit was a bit more hype for it. I hope I've done it justice. Um, I don't know. Check it out for you guys. Uh, afterwards, let me know what you think of this game. It is just amazing. Very, very quick background, big story on it. So uh, both these teams have Q-sniped each other. We've got XL5 trying out two new members. Obviously, it's, uh, I guess it's Chopper, uh, sorry, Chopper New. But also we've got KVA, Skimmy, and Ninja on the team. The other team is just sort of a bit of a uh, pickup group or a random group. We've got Demise, Azura, Parsi, uh, Silva, I think it's uh, Salavi, Salavi, or, uh, Salavi, whatever. And then we've got Blue Aura. But it doesn't matter. I mean, these are all good players, and this game is just amazing to watch. Check it out. But get ready, it's a long one. So here we go. <clears throat> all right, here we are loading into what I've been told is the best game in the AU to date. On the left side of the map, we have the blue team. We have Azura playing as Zeratul, Parsi as Uther, Demise on Johanna, Blue Aura playing as Jaina, and Selvi or Slavy as a Nazebo on the right hand side of the map. On the red team, we do have KVA playing as Arthas, Skimmy playing as Johanna, Chop on the Zagara, News playing Malfurion, and then we have Ninja playing as Kelthus. So this is, I've been told, is a, going to be a great game, very interesting. I've been told both these teams have Q-sniped each other. So we're going to see exactly what's going to go on. And it looks like a five-man engage onto the middle. Demise goes in, pulling the Condemn. All of a sudden, the, the wall goes down, holding him in place. He is rooted in place now, taking a lot of damage. KVA low, Ninja's low, Noob's low. We've got an entire red team having to back out here. Demise is low health, Grass going on from Laoric onto him, but he has backed off as well. Man, that is, um, wait, he's... <laughs> The first 30 seconds have actually already been pretty good in this fight. No one dying. But we're going to see the blue team here now. Uh, they're starting to stay in the middle. See if they can pick up some kills. We'll see red go ahead. They're actually soaking all three lanes now. So there's no one right at the top. That's going to be a bit of an experience gain built up for the red team. But we're going to have the next 30 seconds. We're going to have the dragon shrines come up. You can see how both teams respond to this. Both teams... Ooh, being very aggressive in the middle here, Demise going in against against Skimmy, lower health, can't really advance him much, but he can build himself up, he is Laoric, Arthas looks like he might be ooh, going to go and dive on Sla Slavy, just sitting there, waiting for his opportunity, him down the bottom, we've got the tri lane going on, alright, Shrines are up now, we're going to see exactly which team's going to respond? The Mize is in a little bit of trouble. Looks like he's going to get picked off. Does condemn Paul Skimmy into it? He's going to fall. No, the unstoppable pop that he just survives, managed to get off. However, now Skimmy's in a little bit of bother when he overextended just then. Blue Aura having back out because he was in a bit of trouble. The aggression is high, but no one has died yet. That's amazing. Both these teams being just just so good with their rotations, really pressuring each other hard. But no one, no one really securing any sort of kills at the moment. Alright, so we see that the Bond Shrine has been picked up for the blue team. Oh, Zura is actually almost almost in a little bit of strife there. But he obviously does have the blink and just gets out in time, no issue. Kels is going to pick up the bottom shrine for the red team. Does a little bit of zoning with the flame strike. Ooh, Jaina actually goes in. Condemn goes on. Kels is in a bit of trouble. He's in third. He's picked off. Taken out by Condemn pulling in. And Jaina just too strong. And Zebo, however, died. Dying in the top lane to Arthas. And KVA is just going to sit up there and take up that top shrine. Oh God, little engagements happening all over the map. Can't keep up with all the action. Pass it. Ooh, is there a news in a bit of trouble? Azura jumped onto him. The roots have gone down, holding him to place. Will he make it? No, he won't. Azura coming in, getting the final kill on him, getting the final say. And a blue team's just going to disengage from that. All right, we've already got two, only two kills to one. It's a low kill game, but it feels like, uh, it feels like the action has just been constant for the two minutes and 40 seconds. Azura. And our both teams, a little bit of a lull in the action. Oh no, the red team's rotating down to the bottom. We're going to see Ninja pick up that bottom shrine now. 
And we're just gonna see a bit engaged in demise is caught out in Lil Bad spot. However, the grass goes down. Condemn goes on pulling in new and skimmy. Uh, under the scene, we're going to see Azura pick up the Shrine, denying the pickup, or any possible pickup by the Team Red. Ooh, Azura blinks out again, a little bit of, could have been a little bit of trouble, but blinked out just at a good time. The Roots going down, just missing him, seconds away. Up the top, up the top, look at Arthas and Azebo, both on low health. Oh, now engage in the middle, because the Shrines have been picked up for Team Red. I'm going to see... Nazebo in trouble, but a little fight breaking out from Ninja. Ooh, Gravity Lap's gone into Jaina. Just waiting to see if the red team is going to engage onto or not. But we are going to see Uther having to back out. Oh no, he's actually going to go... I'm going to wait to see here. Not the sign to back up from this now. Pressure let off. Leoric and Jaina, sitting with Johanna, sorry, sitting in the middle, just engaging with each other. Obviously, jo Johanna does not want Team Red to pick up that Dragonite at all. But it is a bit of a of trouble, but she does pop the unstoppable trait. Skimmy sh going sh shading right in front of her. The Demise will manage to get away just. That health so low, and the Shrines have traded yet again. Blue Aura and Azura doing a great job at the moment to deny Red that Shrine. However, they are just going to push him back. Chop just getting the capture with new Ninja acting as a little bit of zoning. Gravity Labs just missing Jaina. And the bomb going up. That could have been spelled disaster for her. I'm just seeing exactly what this is. Such a high, intense action going on. Alright, going to see another engage in the middle. Actually, go back to the middle. Demise doing a good job of keeping Lyric off that shrine. We could have become the Dragon Knight now. But just doing a good job keeping that pressure off, or putting the pressure on to keep the dragon pressure off. KVA might be in a little bit of trouble here. Azura and Nazebo going to town on him. He is body blocked in. The Condemn comes in. He will be caught. There's no way he can survive. And that's his Arthas is down. That has left this really open right now for Team Blue to try and secure a dragon here. They can just get that bottom shrine. That ninja chop and new for Team Red just doing such a great job of just securing that shrine, keeping it out of Blue's hands. And even Leoric rotating up the top, obviously trying to put a little bit of pressure on that lane and then going to rotate onto that shrine and cap it for the red team. However, I don't see any team exactly... Oh, actually, this might be spelled a bit of disaster here. That Demise, Demise is going to go in. And Demise goes in. This could be trouble for Kelthus. Is he going to get pulled? The Condemn comes on and Zura jumps in and he dies! Nothing he could do. Captured in a bad spot. They have to back up now. There's nothing red. Red is a good spot to fight at this bottom here. 4v, 4v3, not a good spot. They will have to back out. Pressure is going on. Leoric is pulled in, but he should be able to escape with no troubles. And that's it. Now, Kelp is back up, so this would be a little bit more promising for the red team now. They will be able to get back into those sort of team fights with their extra damage. And not have a demand disadvantage. Both teams do a really good track to level 10. We are going to see blue team pick up the level 10 first. And I wonder if they'll be able to really take an advantage He's behind that. Get an advantage behind that and really push the next fight. However, look at that. Red just soaking so well. Having to push the bottom lane. Look at that. Blue was pushed right out of the bottom lane. They lost a little bit of soak. And Red was able to catch up. A little bit of experience. However, level 10 is still going to be picked up for the blue team. Alright, the heroics are coming out now. Actually, Ninja might be in trouble here. If detected by the uh, Zero Tool. But no, Zero Tool. However, will just be bombed to death. Well, not to death, but we'll be. We'll have the living bomb thrown onto him. And just push back from that engage. I'm just waiting for that because Zero Tool's going to get punished now. He's not being able to really get into stealth. But if Ninja overextends at any point. Oh no, this. Demise comes in. Try to do a little body block. The stun goes on to Leoric. Leoric's not going to be able to get out for this. Is the damage going to be enough? No, it's not. He does manage to get out. Oh, that is so good. Is any more gauges going on? Johanna is seeing a little bit of damage at the moment now. Pulling in, going for the kill. Is Leoric going to get behind the wall? Just. Oh, could have spelled disaster. There was no assassin, so there was really no one to push it home. But while this is going on, look at this down bottom. So level 10 has been picked up for both teams. Hopefully we'll get a bit of a break. We've got Bless Shield, Avoid Prison going down onto Malfurion. Locking him in place. This could spell disaster. Azura going in for the kill. The Blizzard comes out. Trank, the, the Phoenix has gone out. And the Maul. Look at that. Phoenix and Maul holding him in place. They come out right on top of that. But no damage. No one's going to be able to follow up. Like Oryx on low health. Johanna's on low health as well. Dragon Knight has changed hand. Trying to change hand again. No Dragon Knight for the red team. Ravenous Spirits come out. Just sort of pushing Leoric right back on low health. This is insane. There is just no rest in this game. 
We've got Lorix in the top lane by himself. He's going to get a little bit of a push for Team Red. They're going to be able to get a little bit of, um, might be able to pull up an experience. Come back into the, well, not come back into the game, but just try and equal out these levels because they're just a little bit behind at the moment. All right, is there a lull in the fight? No, there's not. There's more aggression in the bot lane. But Arthas is taking a little bit of damage. KVA goes in against Slavy. Slavy, is he going to be able to get away? Ooh, does back out. Wasn't able just to uh, really focus through on any community there. Azura capturing the top shrine again. 14 blue, new coming in, throwing down the moon fire. The root's going on, but the zombie wall traps him instead. And Zeratul had the back out there, was not confident he could kill Nu before Arthas would unleash the burst. Down in the bottom lane, however, we do have a Parsi and Blue Aura. Ooh, doing a good job defending against that. Demise has come in. Oh no, they've have they done it. Oh, the chops in a little bit of trouble here. Johanna's going to get the body block on and the slow takes him out. Zagara so removed from that fight. Skinny might be in a little bit of trouble here. No, just get behind the wall just in time. Let's go back to the top lane. Oh, this is. This game is insane. This has been nine minutes of non-stop action. Skimmy coming back out again into the lane, even with low health, not too concerned. Did see Blue have to retreat. The Blue team have to retreat there. And that is done for the moment. All right, so let's try and get these level 10 heroics done as quickly as we can. We've got Blessed Viewed, Void Prison, Divine Shield, Ravenous Spirit, and Void Prison. Every time I say it, it goes off, and we see Kelter's trapped. Isn't going to get body blocked. He is. He's not going to be able to escape from that. Phoenix does come down. But it doesn't mean anything. It's just there for looks. We'll be up for the next time when Kelters is effectively resurrected. So we'll be there for the next engage. Uh, Chop will come in, however, pick up the shrine. 14 red. The Mize, however, is already sitting in the middle of the lane, ready to respond to any members from Team Red that is going to try and take that shrine again. However, Blue Aura comes in because Felder's asked for Chop anew. The Blizz goes down. Should we have a burst? No, not enough. Enough burst, but they will again pick up the shrine. Demise pulling a lay auric off it, not allowing the capture to go on. And then we just see the dance. Nazebo fell into a little bit of trouble in the top lane, managed to get away. That's just so many fights going on at the moment. Hard to keep up on exactly. KVA might be in a little bit of trouble here. Demise goes in. Azura's next. Body blocking him in place against the minions. And Nazebo and Azura. And Demise will just finish him off. They're going to pick up that top shrine again for blue. Kelthus, however, is rotated into the middle, and he's ready to uh, effectively do the new zoning. All right, so blue team has picked up both shrines. They're trying to get the Dragon Knight. The Mize is going for it. Gravity Lapse has fell onto him. The Phoenix goes down, acting for zoning. No one from blue is picking up that Dragon Knight anytime soon. Uh, look at that bottom lane. It's pressure there about Fury and News is a little bit of trouble. The Roots goes down, holding Uther in place. What a timely Roots. Snaring him at the right time. News following up, trying to get the kill on Uther. This is insane, but he will back out. Blue Aura saw what was going on. Mana has, re has refilled. All right, actually, we're going to see Zeratul come to the now. This could spell disaster for our Pyrenees. He's on low health. There's no way he can survive for this. Stun goes down, and he's gone. Kelthus could be in a little bit of trouble as well. The Void Prison going down. That's it. We're going to see Blue just descend on top of him now. Stun's going to go down onto Kelthus. Stun's go down. Stun does go down, but Uther's a bit of trouble. He divine shields himself. Azura, however, getting taken out by a combination of the Towers and Zagara. And we're going to see Parsi fall in this engagement as well. The March of the Black King just going to town on him. And Demise will probably make it. Oh no, rooted in place. Spell disaster for him. So close, but yet so far we do have the Uther still healing him in his spirit form. And uh, there we go. We see the shrines change hand again. Still no Dragon Knight at the 11 minute, 40 second mark. Skimmy going down those front fortifications. I mean, look, actually, actually, even the lanes. Oh no, Johanna's in trouble here. Rooted in place. Divine, the Blessed Shield does go off and does help her a lot in swaying off that attack. This is, oh, this is just, uh, you know what, folks? I was not sure if I was being told the truth when I said that this is possibly the best A game in the AU. You know what? I think it actually is. It's amazing, all the action going off. We're just seeing a set of probably the second time the Siege Giants have been caught this game. Still no Dragon Knight at the 12-minute mark. And look at these lanes. These lanes are pretty much still intact. Okay, we've lost a couple of towers and maybe some walls. But those fortifications... Still there. The All right, so Blue has picked up the shrines again. We're going to see if Red's going to be able to hold them off this time, or if they're going to be able to get the first dragon of the game. And of course they can. Look at that rotate down at the bottom. As there is a bit of trouble, the Divine Shield has gone onto him. Stun's gone onto New. The Phoenix has gone down. Uh, and New is just doing a great job to keep everyone alive at the moment. He's ice blocked himself, so he won't fold any damage. KVA coming in. 
trying to pull Demise away from you. But hang on, Demise is hanging there, he's condemned into me. They want him, they want the corpse. And Azura's gone in, done a lot of damage. Oh no, gone back onto the roots. He's gonna have to escape from the chain bomb is on him. He will run away from us. The mob void prison has gone down. Again, a beautiful void prison, new and ninja trap. KV as well, but dude, is Johanna gonna be able to run away from this one? Looks like she Oh, it's in such a trouble now. Yeah, Johanna will Oh no, maybe not escape. The roots go down from Alfurian. Yep. Doesn't mean to get away, but New is actually overextended. And now he's gonna punish. He's gonna be punished for his actions. And Malfurion will bite the dust. And Zero on low health. It does take the sippy cup and receive the heal. It will be fine. Alright, we're gonna see Demise again. Look at that aggressive play. Just not caring. Not caring at all that Arthas was sitting next to him. The Leech King. Who cares? Says Demise. I am the Johanna King. And she does have to back away, however, from that Zagarin game with Hunter Killer coming out. I like this ninjas in the bottom. Drag Knight in the, all of that action. Drag Knight actually was picked up. Was picked up, and it's, and it's nearly over. I can't believe I completely missed that. So much fighting and action going on. But even then, Drag Knight not really getting much work done. Just behind all that. It's obviously not wait. All right. Oh, in a bit of bother here. We're going to see Zagara fall again. Mole does come out, but means nothing in this regards. And we we'll see Zero to fall. Look at that one for one exchange. That is just so aggressive coming out from both teams here. These rotations are just on par. I can barely keep up with the action that's going on here. Both teams, I wouldn't say that both teams are even being aggressive. Both teams are just rotating into the enemy at the right time. The Mines is going to try and reduce the creep spread that's on the map, remove that division. The Zagaras has, well, basically has thrown around all the uh, laners, the top lane and shrine. See if they can not make a couple more, cho couple more choice. But however, there's a big engage down at the bottom, and we're going to see Jaina fall. It looks like she's getting body blocked in by Skimmy Ninja and KVA. Should have really rotate down to the bottom map much, much sooner to see what was going on. And we're going to see Blue have to go a little bit on the defensive at the moment because there is just so much going on. Red just has a red team definitely has a slight advantage now while there's only three members on the board. Zero Tool is back up. So of course we are going to, we can start to sort of push some of these little fights again, but they really just have to wait, wait for our Jaina to get back up so they can just get more of that burst potential up and running. All right, Azura, Mo, Mo, <laughs> got into a bit of trouble there. All right, so we are having the second set of Dragon Shrines activate for this game. It looks like we're seeing, and we're going to see the entire red team rotate up to the top, take out those little walls. Reduce the amount of vision, or maybe bait the blue team up by showing that they are there. However, while they're waiting for the shrine to have to take out this top fortification, in response, it looks like we're going to see blue rush to the bottom of the fortification Red well. And while Zero just takes out the middle creep wave as well, doing a bit of cleaning. Jaina, however, has pulled back. Blizzard's gone down. Oh, well, that's actually a pretty nice blizzard. Three blizzard waves going down, and nearly reducing Lyric down to dust. However, Blue did accidentally spread the chain bomb off to all the building and the structures, only doing a little bit of damage. Oh, rotate. Azura caught out of position, however. Gravity Lap's coming down. Ooh, Void Prison going down. That is such a nice Void Prison. However, there's no one from Blue Team. They were capitalizing just now. Demise goes on. Blind goes on. Azura gets the kill on Kelsbor trying to run away. The mole has gone on as Captain Jaina. That Ravenous Spirit's going to go to work, but Arthas has found the Zero and is trying to punish him. Marshal the Black King has gone off. Tranquility has been popped. And we're just seeing damage guard everywhere. A little bit in the favor of the red team right now. Shots in a little bit of trouble, however. Zero, oh, couldn't, couldn't finish the connection. And we're going to see Azura taken out instead. Punished for overextending into Zagara like that. The Divine Shield's gone on to Johanna, keeping her alive. But we've got a one-for-one -one trade at the moment out of that fight. So behind all this, we'd hit level, tw level 20 some time ago. Both teams have done a great job this game of staying within level. Like we've never seen anyone get an advantage. I can't tell you right now who's going to win. I can't even tell you what each team needs to do. They need to start securing these kills and these team fights. Because this is where both teams are excelling. They're just doing so well in their team fights. And no one is gaining any sort of huge ground. And not having two or three or four people die simultaneously. Or not at least recently. KVA, however, is going to get the Dragon Knight. No, look at that. Look at that Condemn coming out of Demise, I think. But in that time, we did have... Some action going down in the other lanes again, missing another set of kills against the blue team. I'm talking flames going on. Demise. Demise is so aggressive. There was no one there to support him, but he's still going into those three heroes. 
and really pushing pushing against them, seeing if we can distract them enough. So with both shrines picked up for blue, however, we're going to see a double... Ooh, actually, we're going to see blue rotate to the middle lane. This is going to pick up some individual kills. Not that was incorrect. They're actually going to rotate down. Oh, are they going to capture them? Are they going to capture Ninja and KVA down at the bottom? No, Azura not choosing not to go down. The Phoenix goes down, trying to push Uther out of the area, but he's not going to respond to that. Azura goes in. Kelth could be in a little bit of trouble here. The Blizzard goes down, but that's a great bolt coming off Kelth. Ooh, Divine Shield. Just a clutch of Divine Shield just then, keeping Azura in the fight. This is barely misses the Flame Strike. And then Blue's in a bit of spot of trouble here. They will have to back out of this. Demise doing a little bit of pressure on the chop, but ultimately just, just trying to uh, push back Red. This is definitely another Dragon Knight coming out for the red team. And that Dragon Knight looks like he's just going to push the mid lane. He's just going to go down and push the mid lane. While the rest of the team pushes bottom. Look at that. Pushing that fortification. Oh, blue comes in. Demise going in. Big condemn. Azura goes down. The Kel'thas will fall behind all of this. The mole comes out. Only grabbing Johanna. Void Prism goes down. Malfurion. And I think that Sagara has been captured. Dragon Knight doing kicking someone out of the way. And Malfurion ice blocking. But... Chops of so low health. Blippi take it out. Yes, Demise finishing him off. Blue is also in a little bit of trouble. KVA trying to follow up, but we see uh, obviously come in, throw down the stun, do a bit of body blocking for him. Uh, Zero. Oh, Malfurion's going to get punished. Azura's going to come in and finish him off. And we might see. We possibly might see KVA fall here as well. Because we are looking at that with a massive life against Team Red. Three down so far. KVA is about to get punched. Azura almost fire, almost dying in that. We're holding back out of the position. But the Dragon Knight is trying to get on top of him. Divine Shield's come out. Maybe a little bit of wasted. Didn't quite need it. Wasn't going to just manage to get away. But better safe than sorry. Blue Aura, however, is going to get kicked across the field. Look at that blink, however. That bottle of the storm really, really uh, cancelling out the uh, pushback from uh, the Dragon Knight. I can see Dragon Knight out. Again, another really good blink. Uh, just, just to try and uh, mess around with the Dragon Knight just a little bit. Skimmy is long out. He's got one, so one second left on the Dragon Knight. And he is now out of it. Are right, we going to follow Skimmy, one of the only live members left? Kelthus is up. Should be in a pretty safe spot. The ninja's going to come in. What can they really do behind this point? Like, they've got to wait for the rest of the team members to slowly get back in. Zagara's going to come back in. And then one second with Malfurion. We only got to wait 10 seconds before they can get this sort of second, um, second warrior or sort of bruiser tank back onto the field. Where blue, with the blue team, you know, if they if they did take that a little bit earlier, they possibly could have taken out them, taken them out while they're at their easy camp. However, that is not the case. They have picked up a couple of camps. Each team has, and those are just going to basically neutralize each other on the bottom lane. Blue has gone to the top. They are going to push into that fortification, get some pressure on their on their map for a for a change. Uh, Red's done a great job pressuring all three lanes. None of the catapults just yet. Oh, actually, there's a fight going on here with Johanna going into Kelthus. The shield has gone on from from the which has gone the uh, arcane barrier. And the Mars will back away from that. War Elemental, unfortunately, has been wasting that instance and won't be up for a while. Well, Red looks like it's in a pretty good spot. However, Zagara did fall in that, that exchange. Alright, we're going to see here. Tower is going to lose. It's going to basically push into the top lane now. Take that fortification. I mean, this is, this is great. We saw the Red team have such a strong push a moment ago. And just put a lot of pressure on those lanes. Again, no catapults. Red team been picked up. But now we're seeing Blue have their own turn. Oh, they've, they're possibly going to pull, like, get a free mine from this. I see the roots have gone down. Tranquility's come out. Void Prison selecting a whole bunch of mobs. And the Ravenous Spirit is just going to go to town in that big pack of red. However, they have turned it around. The Ice Block coming out from Malfurion. Pushing the Blue back, not wanting to get anyone to fall right now. And who picked up that? But look at that. That camp, that mercenary camp was picked up by Blue. That was just a great, great uh, steal there. Ooh, Slavi, Slavi might be in a bad position here. Going to get attacked. KVA is putting a lot of pressure on. Demise coming in. Condemned. Bless Shield. Missing all the targets, but it did peel away. Ford and Zebo rooted in spots, but he's just being held back, basically. Was that blue aura is going to go down and just clean up those camp down the bottom? And what have we got here? So re the red team's going to try and... Well, they're going to try and capture the bottom mercenary and well, secure this triumph. They already have... They've got a huge presence down bottom, except for Leoric, who's up top. Azure and Demise... Are might be enough to do this. The Mai's playing it very, very smartly just then, waiting for Skimmy to go ahead and use his escape. Now he's just going to fall in with the Condemn, hopefully pull him in place. But however, there's an engage going down the bottom behind all that chase. 
Now Furians, none of the spawns die. They are probably going to get Uther behind this. The shield goes up. Ninja had to back out because he's getting a lot of pressure from Jaina. Uther will fall, but Ninja might fall in his engagement. No, but Blue War is going to escape now. But I don't know. I think Chops got her in the bag, and so he does. Obviously, behind that, Leori did die in the middle lane. Oh my god, they were both great fights to try and watch. And I could, unfortunately could not watch the chase or the fight down the middle lane, or the bottom lane, I should say. And we're just going to have the blue team behind us. I mean, blue team's still in a bad spot. They've got Jaina down. So they got quite a lot of damage out of the fight at the moment. However, that doesn't stop Demise. He's going to go in against Ninja. Condemned coming in, pulling him in place, acting for the block. Actually, changing on to Zagara because the, the Zeratul was there. And the Ice Block going out from Mara and keeping him safe for the moment. As they're in a little bit of bother, the blue has to back out from this. Because that Zebra coming down, throwing down the frog, trying to active zone, the walls come down. And the red team has picked up both shrines. I mean, they secure a, dr a drag knight from this. This would be a 23, 24 minute drag knight. I mean, it, it could be quite powerful and they could get a lot of pressure on this. And the blue team know that they are trying to come in and harass them off the position. Azura is coming and throws down the void prison. Sacrifices his life, unfortunately. Has brought the blue team a bit of time, but I don't think they're going to be able to do anything from here. Um, oh, actually, very clever. During that time, we did see Johanna go down to the bottom lane, pick up the shrine. So the entirety of red team is going to rotate down there now while Leoric sits in the middle and just puts a little bit, tries to put a little bit more pressure on the blue team. Tries to, so I guess, act a mixture of a decoy. Oh no, this is a Dragon Knight coming out for Team Red. I mean, this is a 24 minute, 25 second dragon. This thing is going to hurt. When this thing starts hitting buildings, they are going to tremble, they are going to fall. So we're going to see exactly what's going to be here. However, Skimmy is using this once the minion, his own minion waves, a little bit of defense. But. They'll change his mind, knows he's in a little bit of bother because this Dragon Knight might get a little bit uh, stuck here, a little bit out of his position. Look at that! That that well just dissipated. Look at the way that building is falling. That is a huge amount of damage behind all this. We do see the red team also pushing in the bottom lane. Great split pushing going on there. Skimmy could be in a little bit of bother. Uh, where's Jaina? Jaina is taking a little bit of damage, which has backed out from it. I don't know if the blue team are going to have to fix this. They're going to jump onto Leoric. Unfortunately, a bit of a waste of time because he can just escape so easily. And now, oh, Chop's in a little bit of an issue. Possibly Demise is going to come. We're going to see the Dem Condemn go down. This could be a big fight if the Condemn goes down to pull on Malfrey. No, they are going for Zagara. The Mole come out in Zero, however. And the Azura is going to go and it's going to get Chop. He does too, and he manages to blink out. That is how powerful Zero Tool is. Just got such a good engage and disengage. Condemn comes down, pulling in a set of front of here. Skimmy goes forward, trying to put on the big damage. The Divine Shield coming out on the Zero, keeping him alive in the fight. And Void Prison's gone down. Blue is able to regroup from this and get a lot of damage. Nope. They have to stay away from that. Kelt is putting on a really great living bomb in that minion wave. However, Zero has gone back in. Pulled KVA, a lot of damage. Condemns come down. The roots have held Johanna in place, but it doesn't matter because she is going to go all ham on these guys here. And as Zero comes in, Malfurion caught out of position and ice blocked. However, there is no way he's going to be able to survive in this one. And he, oh, clever, clever roots there. However, the blink is just too strong. And we did see Leoric fall in that engagement chase as well. Ninja is trying to desperately grab some minions, but as he will get punished as Zeratul comes in, throws, misses with the singularity spike, and Ninja is able to walk away unscathed in that attempt to grab the siege giants. However, behind us, we are going to see blue team again turn around and start to put pressure back on the red team. They haven't quite got to the catapult stage yet. We do see two lanes, four red being pushed potentially with catapults when they start to build up, obviously. So Blue has to play a very, very clever game here. They need to not get caught and they need to not get stuck fighting for too long and let those minions really build up in those lanes. However, they do pick up the easy siege giants behind us without getting caught by the red team. Bit of a concern, but they managed to pull it off with no issues. Zero choosing to have to go back for health and oh, no. he was gonna half that but decided to hang around. We gotta see the shrines are gonna come up in a moment. And we're seeing the red team grabbing up their mercenary camp again to put that pressure in the lane while everyone fights over the dragon sh well, over the temples. Or over the shrines I should say. But we're gonna see a big engage down the bottom as both teams try to rotate down below to get the fight. However, look at that! How good was that? Blue Aura ready to pick up the Dragon Knight in the center of the lane. And this is the first Dragon Knight for the blue team, but it's at the 27 mark. Again, from what we've just seen, look at those buildings fall, condemned going down, pulling on a lot of heroes. 
bomb going on to the Demise. Demise is on quite low health, but this is Johanna. She does have the indestructible talent, so she's going to be able to survive through that. But huge Void Prison. Just it's saving, allowing her to get away with ease. No issues there. But she is on such low health. In a bad spot, the Fiends come down. Unstoppable has been used to trait, protecting just a little bit longer. I don't think she's fallen enough yet for Indestructible to actually pop. So she should be able to get away from this quite easily. And there we go, the Indestructible. But now she's been a bit of trouble. Good mole there on Mazebo. Just removing damage with the Dragon Knight. Just going all oh, full out and ham on Sagara. Removing her from the fight. Demise goes back in on low health. Doesn't care. He's got his healer nearby. Throwing down some heals. Shield comes out. Now Furian's in a bit of trouble. He will have to ice block this one. But does it not save him. Again, Leoric is trying to go up. But will we escape? I mean, it's he's got some distance. But that double mount coming up from Demise and Parsi. It's just going to possibly catch up to him in time. However, the Dragon Knight will boot him out of the equation. I'm just going to see all three heroes now just start to go. Go into those buildings, push that bottom lane, start getting your own catapults, getting their own pressure. Ooh, Parsi's a bit of trouble, however, the Phoenix going down, acting for a bit of zoning, pushing him out of the base. And they're going to see Blue on that Dragon Knight now. And that Dragon Knight will probably, it's still 8 seconds, it's going to either die or it's going to time out, one of the two. <sighs> Sorry, that's the first breath I think I've been able to take all game. Um, so the red team's in a little bit of bother here. They've seemed to have better, let's say, map control because they've got two lanes pushed in. But they have lost any sort of level lead they had. They've lost that advantage because when they hit 25, we're going to see the blue team practically on level 26. So what they've really got to do now is get these picks. That Zeratul pick would be a real big one right now. Zeratul's just going to be able to blink out of that and he should be safe. Oh no, but Kel'thas goes in aggressively with the blink. How good was that? Normally you see Kelter players reserving that fold of the storm to save their own bacon. However, Ninja knew that that was a pick his team needed, bolted in and secured the kill. I mean, that is pretty safe playing. They probably had an idea where the enemy team was, but that was just a good pick. That is exactly what Red needed. They can engage into a fight now and they have the upper hand. They have the advantage. They will just push into the bottom, oh, sorry, middle, middle fortification. They can take out that fourth, three lanes of catapults. They might be able to do really well here. But look at blue, they've got two sets of siege giants, sorry, a set of siege giants and a set of bruiser camps in the bottom lane. That's going to do a lot of pressure. Red's going to have to rotate back off to that, or down to that. Clean that up. They can't leave it down. Now, Kels is going to come in, he's going to chain bomb that. That's just going to be huge amounts of damage. Cleaned up pretty fast. But that's given blue a bit of breathing space to try and regroup, clean out those lanes again, possibly get back in the fight. We're going to see Zero Tool back up in the next five seconds. Okay, so this is it. The shrines are coming up. This is a 30 minute Dragon Knight. 31 minute. Potentially 32, 33, who knows? This Dragon Knight in itself should be able to win the game for whichever team picks it up. So we're going to have to see how each team responds to it. Now, obviously, we're going to have Leoric capture the shrine down for the red team, while the blue team is choosing to stick up in that top lane. That's their plan. They're going to stay in this top lane now. And just rotate or just dive on red when they go in. Now we've got Zuri here. Zip to that. He's seen the Kelthus. He knows where he is. Now I suspect Kelthus has seen him too as well. He's seen the Shimmer effect. Leoric is coming up. Tries to sweep into Zeratul, but manages to be able to manage to bring it out of the way. They're going to try and pick up. Well, they're not going to try. They are going to pick up that boost camp. The Maya still to blind on Leoric. Backs out. Oh, no, the core for the blue team is being attacked. They're going to have to go back and deal with that. This could spell a little bit of problem. They've now had to divide their attentions. Zeratul making good plays, however, going down to the bottom to capture that shrine now. We're going to have to see Red rotate. See, it's in an interesting spot. Neither team can really separate too heavily. Because if someone dies, that's it. It could almost be a disaster for their team dying. Now, Azura is in a bit of a bad spot, however, he does blink away. Blue hasn't done anything about that siege on it. I mean, it's attacking the wrong structure, true. But. That's just going to give more pressure on the ball for them. They really have to respond to that. Now, they have finally responded to it. We're going to see the shrines picked up for Arthas. Zeratul again is going to rotate to the top and just hold that in place. There's no way. Oh, actually, that's a horribly big disaster. Azura in trouble. We're going to see the blink come on, but however, the rest of Red is there to hold him down. He probably can't escape from this. The blue's gone down. Divine Shield, a good Divine Shield comes on. However, 
There it is, KVA can demise, get there in time, just in time. Good blind stuff on KVA from pulling up the Dragon Knight. Gonna, however, demise, has, yeah, he's gonna overextend. That's a lot of damage coming out. Look at his health go. Indestructible, it's just been popped, but now he's trapped in place. Ooh, good, boy. almost, almost escaping. Actually, the Void's been coming down. Demise being taken out. That spell disaster. I think we just uh, a Uther fall as well in that exchange. All right, now this is not looking good for the Pluto. Uther is still alive. Sorry, in the face has gone up. Oh, look at that. We're going to see Kelthus blink over the top. Do a quick cap. We're going to quick capture that shrine. And this is it. But in behind that, look at that. The bottom shrine is also going to be taken for the red team. Zeratul jumping in, however, to prevent it from being taken. And we see Blue and Nazebo rotate down. March of the Black Cling has been activated. Not getting a lot of work done. In a little bit of trouble. That's hard to blink out, but Azura was there, ready, waiting for him. A lot of damage going on, and ooh, Layarik has been taken out. KVA is there. Uh, yeah, he's going to get burst down from this. He might have his own heals going on, but Blue Aura is just going to burst him down, throw out a lot of damage with those blizzards. He has gone full blizzard build, if you weren't aware. And the stun comes out from Uther. But he did manage to chase him off the point a little bit. All right, Kel'Thas trying to do sneaky here. Take down that middle fortification. Put even more pressure against Blue. And look at that, that's a lot of minion waves now, a lot of catapults. Now they're not going to get too much work done, because Johanna's there. But we're going to see Zeratul now rotate up to top lane, nearly get caught by Kel'Thas. Again, would have been a great pickup for the red team. This, this is basically where we're at right now. Each team is looking to get that pick. To get that one kill. I mean, they're actually looking to get Dragonite, honestly. But if they can get that one kill, they secure themselves the game. And this could be it, we got a Roots on the Zebo and Living Bomb onto Azura. It's going to be a lot of damage, however, Uther is there to respond. We see Jaina, Mayoric, and Johanna going down the bottom. The double J against the L, and the L will escape with no worries, but that's going to be another Shrine pickup for Team Blue. Team Red pushed off those Shrines. They've got to get to the middle. Mayoric's there, so they will be able to pull them off. So they're not going to be able to get any time soon. Divine Shield! That! That is the winner right there. That Divine Shield was just so good. Securing the Dragon Knight for the blue team. And look at them go. They are marching down the blue. We've got Nazebo acting as a little bit of a decoy against the red team. I think the red team has known. They, they know they can't win from this. It is now a base race. They have to rush to the blue core. But I tell you what, that, that is a 35 minute Dragon Knight. There's no racing against this. Look at those shields fall. Look at one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, the race is on! The race is real! That was. <laughs> oh my god, how, how amazing was that game? I mean, that, that was, you know, I was told that was going to be the best game I've ever seen. And they were hands down, 100% correct, because it was an amazing game to watch. I mean, that Divine Shield at the end, oh my god, that was just securing the Dragon Knight. And then all the time, the fights went back and forth, back and forth. What, the first Dragon Knight wasn't picked until like the 12-minute mark? Oh, I mean, that's, that's just a classic game to watch. I hope you guys have loved it as much as I have. Um, if not, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you liked it below, if you didn't like it. Yeah, I'll throw it in my way as well. But hey, anyway, thanks very much, guys, for watching. I've been Disconcur, but a huge thanks has to go out for Blue Aura for getting that replay to me and asking me to cast it. He's, the, I mean, that's just, it was just an amazing game to watch. Anyway, thank you, guys, and I'll see you all in the Nexus.